What the, the hell are you doing in my house? It's my house. Oh yeah, yes. Fuck it. Fuck me. Well, uh, you girling bastards out there. It's summer. It's warm. And we buy, we are fucking, you know, it's, it's just warm. Beer. It helps against the wounds. Mm. Uh, yeah. Drinking hell from uh, Yamton. Um, it's, um, I've been drinking that a couple of times before. It has one of those very, 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 uh, as we say in Swedish, besk, which is the, you know, this part of the tongue, right in here, uh, the smell, uh, the sounds, should I them? So, anyhow, it's, uh, it's an okay beer. And, uh, but what makes it great is the name, because we all like hell, don't we? Well, at least the ones of us that aren't Christian just like the opinion, the idea of hell as a form of, you know, divinity or as evil or something like that, you know. Uh, today's album, as you heard in the beginning, maybe, uh, I accidentally pushed this button, which made the stereo there. Go kind of by the boom, and uh, our cameraman is trying some new poses. And why the fuck would he? Now it was very wet here. It this this this, this shoot this thing first. This is alcohol abuse. It's it's tearing you people apart, man. Why do you put it on the floor? Because this is the only place on the table, and I really want to put the album here from the day. You know, like something like this. A little what stylish. Did, what did you do that uh, first time, though? Uh, shut up! Who put a beer on the floor? I know a lot of great deal of people that put beer on the floor. Like? Christian. Like? Like you. But Christians put beer on the floor because they don't accept beer as the new god. Yeah, yeah, talk. Anyhow, this is the album we're going to review today. It's called Satan. Well, the band's called Satan. It's, the album is called Caught in, Caught in the Act. And uh, it was released in 1983. Roundish, uh, uh, well... Around when the uh, new wave of British heavy metal was uh, at its best. Uh, the whole thing of uh, British heavy metal is that it was best in the beginning. Then, then when the bands start flooding the scene, m many of the good bands start dying out. The, the really horrible ones got signed. You know the deal. It's very It's very common, in fact, in, in many, many, many metal and other musical genres too. The album has a cover art which resembles a judge and his jury up here and probably be back here. We have two skulls, one here and here. They are kind of in, in this green mist. I think it's some form of symbolism, symbolism at what happens uh, when you die and you go through some form of trial as you hear in the song Alone of Doc. Which is the one we're going to listen to right now. Um, on the back side, I think this is really good. You can see the band actually painted. And often, too often you see like the band's, uh, you know, photograph here, photograph there. You see a whole band photograph shoot, shoot like that. This is, you know, kind of brings you to one of those memorabilia. And the funny fact is that, as you can see here, it looks like like a painting due to the, the frame 
ground here. You can also see the Satan logo there and here. But you can see this as a, as a painting, it's a frame and so on. On the back side, it's got the band on the back side of the, uh, of the painting, so to speak. Like, here's the framework on the back side and the frame, the, the painting itself put in with the cloth and everything. Now we're going to listen to uh, Caught in the Act. The song is called Alone in the Dark. Hope you like it. Here it's uh, a massive shock with kind of uh, uh, this new way of British heavy metal as uh, uh, more to the style of Angel Witch more than uh, like to say Judas Priest or Iron Maiden. Uh, the riffs are more thrash inspired than uh, mostly other new way of British heavy metal. You can easily say that this was some kind of a blueprint towards the thrash riffing. And uh, even power metal, I would say. Um, the song, the singing style is more of a, a abstract than other, which is what I like with the new wave British heavy metal sounding because of, more often the styles are actually uh, more abstract towards each other than other thrash bands where you hear like, oh, this guy listens a lot to Creator or this like guy, or even death metal like, oh, Cannibal Corpse, and. So on, so on, so on. So like that, so like that. Uh, anyhow, um, very good album. Sickingly good uh, riffing, sickingly good, uh, well, everything. Get this album. It's uh, gold right through and through. Not a bad song. Two instrumentals just before the ending. And the ending is like a massive, massive, massive uh, cutoff, with, which leaves you kind of wanting more before the two al other albums that Satan released uh, which are very hard to find so I don't have them I'm really really sorry but I will get them as soon as uh, I find them uh, and uh, now to cut this one off we will talk to Niklas <coughs> about his uh, uh, little wisdom word of the month, year, week or every yeah, how the fuck you want it Niklas take it away Death is only excuse to being dead that sounds like something out of Entombed. Maybe. Good work, mate. Right? So, see you in hell, my friend. But that's another uh, new way of British and metal song.